We are not done with views yet. We already saw how we can pass data to a view. We actually used three different ways. We discussed more about that in the previous video. Now, what about sharing data with all views? For example, we need to get the authenticated user to all our views. We already know how to do that, auth user, and then we get the attribute. But I don't like it that way. I would prefer to do something like, for example, auth email. This is just an example. The logic of your application might be different, so you might want to share different data among your views. Anyway, that depends on you. Here, I will show you how to do it. First of all, open App Service Provider. This is a provider class, so you can find it in App, Providers, App Service Provider. At the top, we have to import view. So, use view. In the boot function, we will write the necessary code. View, share, and this requires a key and a value. The key here stands for the name of the data. We want to be my name. I will just pass my name here for illustration. Renato. Now let's go back to the home.blade.php and try to use the data that we just created. So let me delete this and say h1 hello my name. So I will save and go back and see the result. Perfect, we are able to access the my name variable. Now back to the app service provider. This time I want to get my age. Laravel has a built-in package called Carbon. Those, whenever you want to work with dates, make sure you use that package. You can find more in their official documentation. Carbon.nespot.com So, let's import it. Use Carbon Carbon We will create an age variable here, so age equals to and we will make use of the Carbon package. Carbon Create from date and I will pass my birthday. From this I want to access the age and this is an attribute that is available from the function. Now let's share the age variable or data if you want to call it like that. View, share, age and we pass the variable. Let's use it. I will go down here and say age3 age. Back to the browser and see the result. And you can see my age here. Let's do another example. This time we want to share the authenticated user. Your logic uh, says to do something like this maybe. View, share, auth, and then auth user. Let's import auth as well. Use auth. But you will find that this doesn't work. Let's try this. Suppose we go down here and say auth, we should expect a result, right? Well, we get nothing. And uh, if we try to do something like email, again, we get an error. To fix this, we have to make use of view composers. So back to the app service provider, and we will say view composer asterisk and we need a closer so view with auth and then we give the value of the user the asterisk says that this data will be available to all views and the closer is used to pass the data view composer is a callback that is called when a view is rendered this will help to pass the authenticated user successfully. Comment the previous line and let's try this. Go back. We already have the code here. So go to the browser, reload, and we have a syntax error 
so we need a semicolon here okay go back again and you can see that we are getting the email suppose we want to get only the name so let's try this name now we get only the name here user Renato and of course we have applied an accessor to the name so this is why we get this kind of format so you just learned how to pass data to all your views what about passing data to one view two three or even ten you don't want a piece of data to be available everywhere and what about this view composer that we have here more about this in the next video Thank you.